The case replay is virtual, so you cannot pick anything up. across important scenes during the case replay that might help our investigation. Please pay close attention. A hidden path. Let's take note of it when we get back to reality. to each other in front of the door. Look, set a password to this door and lock it. Then we don't have to worry about anyone following us. That's brilliant. Let's use one, two, three, four, five. That's a dumb password. Let me set it. Five, four, three, two, one. We figured out the exit used by the culprits. Let's go check it out. Master, I found a hidden exit here. over there but how are we supposed to get through this area master i found a surveillance camera corrupted by the hollow some of the data inside is still intact Once you return to reality, I'll guide you in real time. Uncollected hollow. I've highlighted the culprit's route for you. You're a godsend, Barry. Now let's follow that route. There's a group of abandoned buildings ahead.
Master, I found a surveillance camera corrupted by the Hollow. Some of the data inside is still intact. Observation data detected at this location. The replay. matter container. Do you think this is really the stolen evidence? Yeah, no doubt about it. Even with it sealed, its aura gives me the creeps. Yes! Fantastic! We finally got the evidence back. The assailants that blocked our path earlier likely haven't figured out we've outmaneuvered them and retaken the evidence. At this point, all we need to do is get out of the hollow and we're safe. There's an exit nearby. I'll take you there. The exit is just up ahead. If you two aren't in a hurry to arrest me today, I suppose we'll go our separate ways here. Don't worry, I don't want to burn any bridges. It's bad karma. Besides, I've always thought indiscriminately arresting proxies isn't very fair. Circumstances aren't always the same for everyone. Uh, Chingy, we're officers. Should you really be saying that? Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for your help, Faithen. I should thank you, too for uncovering the threat to the evidence vehicle and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Goodbye, officers. Hopefully our next meeting won't be quite so tense. Now that Faithen's gone, let's hurry up and get this evidence out of here. All right, let's go. Hmm, wait a minute. Faithen thanked us for uncovering the threat and fearlessly going into the hollow to protect it. Doesn't that sound suspicious to you? Suspicious? Huh, right. Logically speaking, while monitoring the evidence carrier, Faithen would have realized the evidence had been switched and upon seeing us, assumed we were there to investigate. But it sounded like Faithen knew what happened outside the Hollow too. How unexpected. It seems Faithen attended the seminar today.
Ah, there you are. Are you free today? Want to come with me to the public security precinct at Lumina Square? I feel a bit uneasy every time I hear public security these days. Actually, I heard Ji Yuan and Xingyi will be heading back to their own branch today. It's probably best not to run into them again inside the hollows. But outside the hollows, it might be quite a while before we see them again. You're intending to convince them to register for a membership card, aren't you? Uh, it's no fun when you know me so well. I was thinking, how about we give them a gift, too? Like a collector's edition of that popular PubSec movie, Mission Unthinkable. That's the one where the protagonist goes against his superior and chooses to protect the citizens, right? That was a good movie. They're gonna be leaving soon. Let's get going. Got everything packed. Let's get it in the car. Phew, we made it just in time. Hey there, managers. What brings you here? We heard you're heading back to your own branch, so we wanted to say goodbye. We haven't known each other for long, but we've had quite a memorable time together, right? But, Zhu Yuan, weren't you supposed to be interviewed on stage for the seminar? Why did that officer with glasses go up instead? Belle was really looking forward to asking you questions, but you weren't there. I'm sorry, but we got assigned to a tricky case that day. I can't disclose the details, but it went well. Largely due to the clues you provided about the 6th Street EMP case. Oh, really? That's awesome. Oh yeah, we got you a gift. It's a movie about a public security officer. We appreciate it. But it's against regulations for officers to accept gifts from citizens. However, could I buy the video as a customer of Random Play? Of course. We'd be delighted to have you as a customer. They're getting ready to leave. So how about we check out the neighborhood and finally grab that meal we've been meaning to have? <sighs> I never expected our time at the Lumina Branch to be so eventful. Things turned out okay. The seminar settled, case cracked, evidence secure. It's just a shame. The reports we have to write are gonna be lame. Uh, hmm? Is that supposed to be a poem? Excuse me, someone's calling me. Hey, you've got time to chat during the day? Well, this is a rarity. Hello. I'm looking over our graduation album. You're flipping through our graduation album? Now? This isn't another one of your weird exercises, is it? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to remember all of the names of our old classmates by looking at these photos. By the way, do you still remember the graduation message you wrote for me? May you become the pursuant of true justice, the sharp blade of the law slicing through the wickedness of the night sky. Oh, all right. Yet there's no need to shout. Someone might hear you. My apologies. It's just... This message really means a lot to me. How does the true justice mentioned in your message differ from regular justice? Is it comparable to the difference between an actual melon and a melon-flavored lollipop? <sighs> Many people say they taste pretty much the same. But even though the melons I buy are hardly ever sweet, I still prefer the taste of real melons. Just like your pursuit of true justice. A real melon will always be a real melon. That can never be imitated. Are those words of encouragement? Well, thanks. Wait, how does a member of hand like you know that I've been reprimanded by the precinct? Because the case of the unidentified monster discovered by Balabog Industries has been transferred to Section 6. My intelligence officer pointed out that we might need you to come in and provide some more detailed intel. So, that thing's in your custody? Are you telling me there's something wrong with the evidence? That's the reason why I'm calling you. We found pieces of what resembles a mask within the monster's remains, and we managed to extract human DNA from it. Does this mean you figured out the origin of the monster? Unfortunately, no. Apart from determining the deceased as a male from the DNA, we compared it with DNA records of missing persons and criminals throughout the city, but found no matches. He may have been someone from outside the city with no known identity. 
But what do you think? Since Maroon risked going into the hollow to get it, there must be some secret on the deceased's body. I wouldn't think he's a nobody. I agree. But as of now, we're still missing the key to this puzzle. Thanks for the intel, Miyabi. Let's catch up in a few days. Mm-hmm. See you. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Judging from the conversation, I'm guessing there's some progress with the evidence over at hand? Seems so. They've made an important discovery, but that's only created more questions. Jump in, Chingyi. Let's talk more on the way. All right, let's go. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Pearlman. <sighs> Attorneys, always running so slowly. You're the ones who suggested we meet. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting? Huh? Wait, it's, it's you! Uh, Sarah! You've got some nerve to show your face after the trouble you caused! <laughs> Come now, Mr. Perlman. It was your idea to deal with the residents in the Blast Zone. Not to mention the fact that your technical advisor and personal secretary, Sarah, never existed in the first place. Well then, there's no need to grit your teeth. I'm actually here to discuss business with you. Please confess to all your crimes in court, and we'll make sure you get the best treatment in prison. Huh. You and that bastard behind you are the ones who convinced me to carry out the blast in the first place. And now you want me to take all the blame. <laughs> That's quite the scheme. I hear recently, Bella Park Industries stumbled upon a monster in that plaza inside the hollow, and the evidence collected from the creature's remains was almost stolen. Honestly, I've been wondering. The plaza isn't along the subway route, yet your plan included research of it and explosives for it. Your real goal is to retrieve the evidence, isn't it? I wonder what would happen if I brought this up in court. I'm sure the judge wouldn't entertain such baseless fantasies, Mr. Perlman. Baseless fantasies, you say? Huh. Let's get real, then. What if I told you I have proof of your involvement in the vision case, along with that of the person behind you? Definitive proof. Hey, you heard what Perlman just said, right? I can't stand clingy men, but I must say that's quite the ace up his sleeve. Sounds like you're enjoying this situation. <laughs> How could that be? I'm genuinely concerned about our partnership. So what's your plan now? Will you agree to his terms? I'll handle it.
catch me too? <gasps> it's time for start. Hey, don't look down on me. You want to test my hammer?
Standing. Stop. Time for some hard labor. Don't look down on me! It's a I have two guns, so double the accuracy! Yeah. 